All right, Jen, so I got a question the other day from Paul. And he's saying, Antonio, how far is too far with tailoring? I asked my tailor if he could adjust one of my polos, take the sleeves in a half inch, and remove a little bit of excess fabric in the back. He was like, seriously? He basically said, I'm a fussy man. Look, it looks fine. Don't worry about it. And my question is, should I trust his judgment or should I get what I want? Am I being too over the top? Am I being too nitpicky? Now, Paul, this is a great question. One of the things I talk about here at Roman Real Style is know the name of your tailor. Have someone that you're taking your clothing to to get it adjusted. Fit is king. When I talk about the style pyramid, fit, function, fabric, notice that fit comes first. So good on you paying attention to fit. That being said, I'm going to share with you a story that was shared with me over a decade ago by a tailor friend of mine. She had a customer that would come in and he would ask for everything to be adjusted here, adjusted there. And the guy gained and lost weight. He was just super picky. And she had a habit of, after a while, realizing the kind of customer he was, that she would take the garment, she would nod her head, and she would just set it up in the back and say, come back in two weeks. She wouldn't touch the garment. When he would come back, she would put it on and say, do you see the difference? How does this look now? And he would miraculously be happy with the changes. Now, she didn't charge him because that would be unethical. But the point is, is that sometimes we get focused in on too much with the details. And I get it, you want the perfect fit, but here's the reality. There is no such thing as a perfect fit. How can I say that? What do I mean? Okay, so here's the thing, is your body is constantly gaining and losing weight. And your perception of what the perfect fit is actually changes over time. I know for me, I used to like my clothing a lot looser, at least I thought I did. Then all of a sudden, I went to a former fitting, and then I went back loose again. Point being is it's a little bit in flux. And if you're focused in on half an inch, a quarter of an inch. Good on you. You're spotting the details. But make sure that your tailor's being compensated. Make sure that they're not pressured, that they've got other jobs they've got to do. And believe me, good tailors are always in demand. And the way that this person looks at it, you don't want to be that customer that's complaining all the time and is kind of a, you know, a pain in the backside. Point being is be a good customer. But hey, if you're willing to pay for it and you want to get what you want, then always ask for it. But I would say that it's okay to not be perfect in the fit, to get something that's really close and then to focus on those other things. Because notice I said that fit, yes, is at the top. But think of style like a chain and your chain is only as strong as its weakest link. So let's say, could you actually upgrade the fabric? Are there other things? You said you're focused on a polo, but let's talk about your jackets. Let's talk about all the other clothing in your wardrobe. Could you spend that time or effort or that money maybe upgrading your footwear? Pay attention to the rest of your wardrobe. If the fit is close, it's probably good enough. And not to beat a dead horse, but let's bring in the law of diminishing returns. So again, you've got that fit at 85%, 90%. For you to go to that 95% is going to require a lot of energy, a lot of time, a lot of work. Again, if you've got other parts of your wardrobe that can be upgraded or let's say at 50%, 25%, it's going to take a lot less energy and you're going to get a much higher return. Again, if you focus there. Now guys, what do you think? Am I wrong? Let me know in the comments. I love hearing from you guys. I want to hear how much tailoring is too much. Have you ever found yourself in this situation? Do you have a great tailor that you absolutely love that does great work? Well, give them a shout out down in the comments, guys. I want to hear from you down below. Oh, and a quick heads up, Mission Fragrances is launching here in the next couple weeks. Seriously, look at this set. Absolutely beautiful. Got the nice quote there at the top. Three 50 ml bottles of amazing juice in a beautiful box with a nice magnetic seal. This is going to be a set you'll be proud to show off on your dresser. Now, gents, down in the description of today's video, I've got a link over to Mission Fragrances where you can quickly and for a limited time sign up for that early bird list. Seriously, guys, you do not want to miss out on this launch. Honestly, gents, it's been a long time since I've been so excited about a project. This is going to transform the industry because it's not a fragrance. What this is, a performance trigger. What is that? That's a cue. The whole science behind this is when you wear these fragrances, you become a better man. That's why I've chosen the names honor, courage, commitment, the core values of the United States Marine Corps and Navy. Any man that has served for something greater than himself is going to see what these fragrances are about. This is about you wearing them and we're going to have a whole course that goes with this so that you can put yourself in the mindset to be more calm, 
more collected, have more confidence to feel better about yourself using the science of scent. Gents, if this sounds at all interesting, again, down in the description of today's video, you want to go over to Mission Fragrances and sign up for that early bird list. I have a lot more information on the website and you can email me if you've got questions, I'll expand on it. But guys, I'm so excited. Again, it's a couple weeks away, so make sure you are on that early bird list. So, what video to watch next? I don't know. I'm just going to link to a random one here. Okay, it's not going to be just random on the web. It will be safe for work, but yeah, I'll link to a random older video we've got here at Real Men Real Style and surprise you. So, uh, click on it and see what you get.